So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please. We partied down. Well, I gotta get going. Things to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya. Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait, I am in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? <sighs> All right, but when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Glyph. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing! You can play yourself! Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah! You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. 
But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign's half-brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, uh, you die now! Oh no, the Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in a refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Telecasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the Genophage. So, a Turian on shore leave. You come here often? Is this that uh, first date thing we talked about? Got it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I come here often. Hmm. Good place to blow off steam. Scenery's not bad either. Though the view in front of me is even better. Hmm. That's supposed to melt a girl's heart? No. But this voice is. I'm Garrus Vicarian. Codename. Archangel. All-round Turian bad boy and dispenser of justice in an unjust galaxy. Also, I kill Reapers on the side. And you are? Commander Shepard. Alliance Navy. <clears throat> Shepard, huh? I might have heard a few things about you. Oh. Flatter me. Word is you're smart. Sexy. A wicked shot. Also, you kill Reapers on the side, too. Uh-huh. And do most girls fall for that? Well, sure, you know. This voice and, uh... And, um... I'm running out of banter here, Shepard. Make it up. Remember, we just met. Right. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. All the girls fall for it. Let me show you. What are you doing? It'll be fun. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Been taking lessons on the side. You're gonna pay for this later. Promises, promises. So, tell me, think 
think a girl would fall for that? Oh, hell yes. I see you've been putting that reach and flexibility to good use. You know it. And it gets even better when you try it in bed. You're mine, you bastard! God damn it! Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it! Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? God, I'm right, I do. Okay, then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his manners once in a while. Please. Easy, easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart-ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. All right. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? And at this time you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Cape Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist. Commander? Kick her ass. Roger that. So much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. 
My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Commander, and I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Towers of Hanoi? I don't think so. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping gunfire it's crazy i try not to think about it probably for the best <laughs> trust me i know all this isn't normal speaking of trust with all this clone business how do i know you're the real shepherd i don't know you just do do i that's the trouble with clones you can never be sure come on you rebuilt me from almost nothing don't you recognize your own handiwork it's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Shepherd, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping. I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime. But that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? 
I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Uh, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? <sighs> Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. <laughs> 